According to the CDC, the U.S. now experiencing its worst bird flu outbreak in nearly a decade. Since January, more than 52 million birds have died from the bird flu. Five News reporter Ian Taylor takes a look at how the virus is impacting farms and consumers. The CDC says bird flu season typically lasts from December until March. But as of this month, the CDC is confirming the worst outbreak of bird flu in U.S. history. This has been probably the most unpredictable strain that we've seen. Patrick Fisk with the Arkansas Department of Agriculture is concerned by the record-breaking number of cases before the season peaks. The USDA reports more than 52 million bird deaths have been caused by the virus. We've noticed with this particular virus, uh, the H5N1, it has mutated somewhat and become a little bit more potent than what we have seen in the past. Fisk says the United States has not seen a slowdown in bird flu cases since January. The last major outbreak happened in 2015. I think right now uh, where we typically will go anywhere from three to five years in between outbreaks, we could potentially go year to year uh, with outbreaks. The USDA has confirmed detected cases of bird flu in 46 states across the nation, the hardest hit in the Midwest. Since the beginning of the year, two Arkansas counties have had confirmed outbreaks in Madison and Pope counties. While in our area in Oklahoma, Sequoia County reported an outbreak while LaFleur County has not. We have not had any problems, uh, no loss in our flock, uh, anything such as that. Gary Tucker of Clem Tuck Farm in West Fork has avoided any issues, but remains cautious of the virus and the financial impact it would cause. We buy our chicks from hatcheries. Uh, we receive them as day-old chicks, but if avian flu were to hit the hatchery industry, then you know we may not have access to, to, to chicks at all. The Department of Agriculture says a majority of infections are coming from wild birds, but for pasture-based farms like Tucker's, an outbreak could impact consumer pocketbooks. It's something that uh, I think all consumers uh, uh, have a, a legitimate reason to be concerned about. Farms like Tucker's are taking precautions, and the Arkansas Department of Agriculture says those precautions have led to only one transmission from bird to human. But there is no fear at this point of uh, any zoonotic, we don't consider this zoonotic, because we've not had any cases whatsoever um, of, of humans uh, contract, you know, testing positive for the virus. So there's no danger there. There shouldn't be any kind of panic whatsoever. Covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News.